I'm going to use just a little bit of oil here. Some wonderful fresh hot corn. And we all read recipes and watched videos of chefs stressing the importance. Do not overcrowd your pans. Oops. We have so much high heat that I'm able to kind of cross or teeter that line here. So high, high heat, a little bit of fresh corn. And then we're gonna add some salt and some pepper, which we're gonna, we're gonna have a discussion about black pepper here shortly. But salt is gonna do two things for us. Number one is gonna season our corn. And number two, salt. What does salt do? It pulls moisture out, right? So that salt is starting to pull that water out of that corn. Right, and now I'm gonna caramelize my corn. And what does water taste like again? Nothing, right? So why would I want that flavor of nothing? Right, I'm gonna use that high heat to caramelize, drive off that moisture, further caramelizing my corn. Chef Patrick back here, he's nice enough to do a second side for us here. We're gonna do a wonderful broccolini with some white wine, a little bit of butter, and some fresh herbs. But I'm gonna go with the corn here. Black pepper, let's talk. When we go home today, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you nicely, of course. You're gonna go to your spice cupboard, you're gonna go to your, your jar, your rack, wherever you go. You're gonna find that white and red, pre-ground black pepper rectangle spice. You're gonna take it, and yeah, you're gonna throw it away. You're gonna spend all this time maybe going to farmer's market getting your fresh corn. You're gonna get your own strip loin and portion it to your own steaks, and you're gonna sear it. You're gonna spend all this extra money for good ingredients, and then you're gonna add something that has no texture or no flavor to it. Fresh cracked black pepper is the way to go. Just in a quick two minutes, you can see that wonderful charring already happening, right? High heat is incredible. How about this pan over here? Right? That's all flavor. Steamed corn is wonderful, but not every single day. We want some flavor, we want some caramelization. What else we're gonna do, because Chef Patrick and I are classically French trained, we're gonna add just a little bit of butter. This is for 20 people, so if you really think about it, I'm not even kidding. Everyone gets like half a teaspoon. And then we're gonna use some pumpkin seeds for texture, some pepitas. We're gonna use a top secret spice mix that I cannot share with you. I'll share, all you gotta do is ask. A little bit of spice. And then some cotija cheese, which is basically like a South American uh, Parmesan cheese. And some fresh herbs, because fresh chives are the best thing in the world. And then the best part is, believe it or not, the side dish is already done. That's what high heat does, quick, fast. What was that, three, four minutes? And you can see all these colors coming together. Right, it creates its own sauce. This is the power of high heat. Quick, simple, fast, and easy. My corn is already done. This is where that low heat comes in. I can do my side dishes ahead of time, keep them warm, then I don't have to come back every five minutes, oh, is this burning, is this scorching? I can keep it nice and warm, and I don't even have to worry about it. The entire demonstration, if you notice, has been about preparing food ahead of time. I'm gonna keep my corn warm, my entree is already done, my souffle batter is made ahead of time. Think about Thanksgiving. You can have all this food ready ahead of time, you're not trying to reheat at the same time. Every wool burner has that capability.